Hey, hey, traveler. Long time no see. You've been keeping well? Oh, <laughs> so you've completely forgotten who I am, huh? I'm Chusa, chief mate of the Alcor. You itched to ride with us to Inazuma in case you'd forgotten? Uh, I was gonna say, this is the Alcor we're talking about here, and I'm the chief mate to boot. Not me, actually. It's Kaidahara Kid, a temporary crew member of ours. You know him, right? He came back with us on the return trip from Inazuma. I don't know what's been going on with him, but he was in really high spirits the whole way back. He kept trying to get everyone to join him for some poetry and song. Unfortunately, no one on board, from Captain Beto to Little Yue, has that kind of, um, kind of, you know, uh, no, no, I mean sophistication. We don't have an ounce of the stuff between the whole crew. So once we got to Liyue, he disembarked and disappeared off into Mother Nature. I'm gonna say he probably couldn't bear being around a bunch of uncouth sailors a second longer. Then, not long after that, we got a message from him telling us to keep an eye out for you. Didn't give the specifics, he just said that if we saw you, we should tell you he wants to chat with you. From the tone of the message, it didn't sound all that serious. Then again, who'd be asking for the likes of you unless it was some sort of major crisis? Actually, we deal with little things all the time, don't we? Oh, huh. Never would have guessed. So you do everyone's odd jobs, too. No wonder the captain's so fond of you. She's got a soft spot for the honest, hard-working folks of this world, you know? <sighs> <clears throat> Getting sidetracked. Please go check up on Kaedahara Kid when you get the chance. Last I heard, he was hanging around the north of Liyue. I've got some things to do on the boat. See you around and safe travels! While the bridge slowly withers, the strings gently whisper. A twilight melody from the solitary zither. Hey, hey, Kaidahara kid! So, what are you up to here? We've come to help! You made it. Good to see you again. This appellation, Kaidahara kid, when uttered by Paimon, it takes on a whole new tone. <laughs> Paimon learned it from Chief Mate Juza! <laughs> what makes you say that? Do I usually mope around as if perpetually hounded by adverse fate? It's cause Jusa said that you needed us for something. We didn't expect to find you admiring the scenery and reciting poetry without a care in the whole world! The events of Inazuma are behind me, and no longer linger on my mind. Now I return to Liyue. It is the natural time to explore all the verses and melodies that arise from this land. As to the matter requiring your assistance, there was none to begin with. Unfortunately, you are too late for that, because now, there is. Huh? That was really confusing. There was none to begin with, but somehow now there still is. What? Have you been eating those wild plants that you're not supposed to? Because you're talking total baloney! Shh. <sighs> Listen. What do you think? Wow. Well, Paimon thinks you play just like another bard we know. Who plays for loose change? Oh? You're friends with a professional bard? I hope I have the chance to meet them someday. Traveler, what do you think? Very good. You're right. More to the point, however, it has a certain special ability. I acquired this anonymous ancient zither from an abandoned cave dwelling as I was exploring the mountains. When I first found it, it was old, but intact. The sight of it inspired me, and suddenly I found myself strumming. To my surprise, as soon as the melody began, my mind began to drift and I could hear the sound of someone playing along with me. Somehow, it all felt so familiar. Uh, just to circle back for a second, are you sure you haven't been eating anything suspicious that makes you see things that aren't there? I 
don't believe so. Because when the melody ended, my mind became completely clear again. That's when I finally started to inspect my surroundings properly. As expected, it was a place full of mystery. The cave was overrun with weeds, so I imagine the owner left a long time ago. But the table and chair were spotless and gave off a fine and delicate fragrance. Even the ever-present sound of the wind fell silent in that place. It was quite miraculous. I can only assume that it must have been the treasure trove of a fabled Liyue Adeptus. Wow! So this instrument is an Adeptus treasure? <laughs> Who can say? Regardless, it was a wondrous experience, and after it was over, I thought to myself, I simply must share this with a friend. But in Liyue, besides Captain Beido, you are the only friend I have. I doubt this would interest Beido in the least, so I decided to invite you to share this experience. I asked Chief Mate Juza to be on the lookout for you, but unfortunately, the ancient zither broke before you arrived. The fault is my own. I've been taking it everywhere with me, and playing it too often. Oh, so even Adepti treasures break in the end? If eternity lies out of reach, even for the mighty Electro Archon herself, then it is all the more elusive for everything else. Uh-oh! Well, please be super-duper careful with our Serena teapot! Luckily, in this case, the breakage is fixable. It's more akin to hibernation than anything else. The energy within the instrument has dissipated with the passage of time. All we need to do is find the right material, and we can awaken it once again. If I heard correctly, the material in question should be the glaze lily. As I've mentioned before, the wind carries with it the whispers of everything that resides in the world and I am attuned to some of what they say. So I am privy to a few fragments of this ancient Zither's history. Go on. I'll wait here for you. You are the savior of Liyue Harbor. I'm sure this should be well within your ability to handle. You've returned. Even before the wind could bring tidings of your progress. This is quite astonishing. How did you achieve it? <laughs> Maybe she's got a few more tricks up her sleeve than you thought! Let me see. Good. These are fine specimens. They will be plenty. If we extract the juices and apply them to the body of the instrument, it should awaken from its present slumber. There it is, that familiar feeling. It's awoken. Come, try it for yourself. It's all yours. <laughs> Can a poet not be forthright in expression? Then, let me rephrase. This instrument is my gift unto you. I came back to Liyue to listen to what this region of the world has to say. In these vast and ancient lands watched over by the Geo Archon, there are countless soft voices to be heard. This gives me all the satisfaction I desire. Of course, should there come a day when you wish to part with this instrument, I will come to collect it. But I hope that day will never come. Well, my onward journey beckons. What is the customary Liyue saying at moments like this? Ah, yes, we will meet again. <laughs>